Hi everybody, this is Tim from Boatsy Drop Brokers and we're going to look at the bilge in Moody Blue and we're going to talk about why it's important to look in your bilge, what's down there and what to look for. So uh, first of all, um, we're here, we're uh, sitting or kneeling on the floorboards in uh, in the saloon of Moody Blue, my beloved 20, uh, Moody 29 and uh, um, I'm going to lift the lid to see what's underneath. Now why would I do that? Um, I want to see what's under there because if I don't know what's under there, I don't have a full awareness or a full appreciation of what's going on with my boat and I will explain myself in one moment. So let's lift the lid up and uh, all boats have a slightly different way of getting in. Some are easier, some are harder. This is nice and easy, he says as it comes out. There we go. Try not to drop it in front of the camera. Uh, put my glasses on so I can see. And now you can see we've got an almost centerline view of the bilge, which is excellent. Now, first of all, I can see it's dry. There's no water in here. Now that means that there's no water getting into the boat, which is brilliant. Um, that's what I don't want to happen. Um, also, I can see that uh, it's a little bit dirty, which is not really what I want. I want my bilge to be nice and clean. Um, going back to my old uh, Royal Navy Marine engineering days, um, I used to make it so that I could eat my dinner off the bilge or out of the bilge, but uh, not really. Um, but uh, I used to keep my bilges that clean because if you find any water swishing about in here, any fuel swishing about in here or any oil swishing about in here, you know that that liquid has come from somewhere else uh, into the bilge via means that it shouldn't have been able to get there, if you see what I mean. Basically, you have some kind of leak. In this case, she's a, a little bit grubby, so I'm going to wipe her through when I finish this video just so I can see everything. Now, what else is down here? Well, basically, we've got the bottom of the boat, which is the horizontal grey here. That's the very bottom. The other side of that is the keel. Uh, in fact, here is the other side of this is water. And the underside of this part here is where the keel is. Now, we have keel bolts on this boat, as you would do with uh, almost all keels. So we've got one here, one here, here, here and here. And then underneath this floor panel here, which um, is still screwed down, we have another set in the same place. And those are bolted through the, sh through the bottom of the boat into the top of the keel and that's what holds the keel on the bottom of the boat. So you need your keel bolts and everything around them like the washers to be in really, really nice condition. Now Moody Blues aren't particularly great and uh, at some point in the future they will need to be changed and that is a specialist job. Between the bottom of the boat and the keel, um, there is always some kind of uh, sealant as well. So that needs to be in good condition to prevent water seeping through the seal up the bolts and into the boat. So uh, that could be a source of water if there is any water in the in the bilge. Um, other things to note as well, we've got these holes here. You can see one here. You can't see the one under there, but there's a hole here and a hole here. And these are called limber holes. And what that does, that allows liquid to move throughout the bilge. Now, why would we want that to happen? That's because if there's any liquid up here, we want it to make its way through to the the, uh, the deepest part of the bilge, which is just on the, under the camera where you can't see, and that's where the bilge pump suction sucks the liquid out of the bilge and takes it away over the side. So when you're operating your bilge pump, it will suck from down here. Any liquids um, up here will flow through down to the lowest point and be taken away and over the side, which is what we want. Now, the only other real, real lower feature down here, two things to mention. You may be able to see that um, the center line here looks a lot thicker, or it's a, there's a ridge here. It looks a lot thicker than the, uh, than the outer hull there. That's because it is thicker, because it's designed to, uh, to take the weight of the keel underneath the boat. And also, the other thing is to mention, uh, we've got these uh, thwart ship strengtheners or frames, and these run throughout the boat, uh, wherever the designer has... Uh, has placed them and that serves to just strengthen the ship in a, in a, th in a thwart ship's direction and to uh, if they run up the sides of the boat as well to strengthen the sides as well. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Yacht Brokers just taking you through a very very basic build setup, um, what it's for, what's in it and why we should keep it nice and clean. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.